Hey there, Mimi Chan, Registered Dietitian, Certified Diabetes Educator here, and I welcome you back to Get Blood Sugars Under Control in 7 Days. Today is day 4. Day 4 out of 7, you're halfway there. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Spoken by a smart man, Theodore Roosevelt has overcome a lot during his time and accomplished a lot. And so when you believe in yourself, you're able to do the things that you want. I believe in you and that you can do exactly what you want, which is get your blood sugars under control and feel great at the same time. You're already halfway there. You're on your way to eating to a better life. How do you feel today? I bet you feel like a million bucks. Your blood sugars have been steadily going down and that energy level is climbing. Work with this feeling and continue to build on those tips I gave you yesterday. As with each day, let's start with that winning mindset. Clear your mind. Avoid the bargaining with yourself. No more excuses. Take a deep breath and we're off. Refresh yourself by looking at the layers of living success. A brief overview about the layers again. Layer one, there is no daily limit. There's so much in this that you can explore and so many things you can do with it. You can also explore different herbs and sauces and also do different combinations or even pick out a couple of things that you found out works for you. And that way you have always a go-to in the cases of when you're too busy or if you just want to make a big batch for the rest of the week. Again, they are filling, they are tasty, and the best part is that they are unlimited. Layer two, preferred proteins. Preferred and great for maintaining your daily function, helping your body repair the wear and tear that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. They're great being steamed, grilled, baked, slow cooked, whichever way you want to do it. I would say definitely try the organic or cage-free, but if you don't, that's okay too. Layer three is the favorite fats. You're probably going to have an idea about the type of fats that you like or don't like from this layer, and also the textures that you like as well as um, if some of them are a little too rich or some of them are a little bit too salty, you have an idea about what your preferences are. So I would say start keeping an idea, a mental checklist about what you like, what you don't like, or even if you tried something new and you notice, I eh, don't really particularly care for it, Note down why, so that, that way next time you'll have an idea about, okay, maybe I don't want to explore this section. Again, it's great for your eyes, your brain, supports body function, and the best part, the win-win, is that they taste awesome. They really do. Layer four is your low glycemic index foods. These are the foods that you want to pick first if you're considering any sort of carbohydrates. And this is to help you in building that winning mindset in understanding of all, not all carbs are equal the same and that not all carbs are going to make you feel the exactly the same way. So pick a couple of these that you want to do or even build it into your daily routine. Now that you have an idea about the layers once again, Let's review a little bit more about how to use the layers of living success. Number one is always to start with the same plate. That way, it just makes it so much easier for that habit to build. Number two is look at your hand, fist, palm, thumb. Layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, we will always be using that same mantra of fist, palm, thumb. Number three is making sure that you don't restrict yourself. This is not supposed to be something that you would think of as a diet. This is not something in which, you know, you would think you're starving yourself or that you're restricting yourself. This is a system to help you understand about how you get your blood sugars under control, but at the same time, live life naturally. So one fist size of layer one at least one palm size of layer two, at least one thumb size of layer three, and at most half of his size of layer four. By now, you have an idea about how some of the meals would look like, how some of them, you know, would be good combinations, how sometimes the different herbs and spices together might not be something that you like, but at least this is a whole new learning experience and you're getting to eat the way you want as you move along. Last but not least, unsweetened beverages at every single meal. 
Here's a refresher of what the plate kind of looks like after you put all the layers together for your meal. And as with the other days, here's a few tips on how you can plan your meals a little bit more efficiently and also making the layers use a little bit easier to do. So always pick your entree out first, which is your layer two and your layer three. That way, when you have the right seasonings that you want to do for that meal, you will know exactly what you want to pair for layer one. And in layer one, you can always choose two, three, four, even five different types from layer one all you want. It just depends on how much you can stomach at that time. <laughs> layer four will always be the last meal, um, sorry, last piece of your meal. Drink plenty of unsweetened beverages during this week. Hydration is key to helping you manage all those symptoms that you're feeling, as well as making sure that the body is getting exactly what it needs at that time. So continue sharing your experience, check your blood sugars, and be aware of what to do when you have your low numbers. Using the principle of LOLS, let's take a look at what your meals can look like. So breakfast today can be something a little bit easier with two boiled eggs. I like it soft boiled, but you might really like hard boiled. It doesn't matter exactly how you cook it. Could be two boiled eggs, could be three. Cashews, blistered tomatillos for a little bit of that um, acid to cut through the richness. Half of a peach for a little bit of sweetness. And that little espresso kick that I always love in the morning. For lunch, you can look forward to a little bit of a healthy fat with a roasted trout with dill and lemon. A little bit of a refreshing taste um, with the taste of the sea. So braised kale in garlic, sauteed lima beans, um, finished off with mixed fresh berries, and the entire time you can hydrate with seltzer. Dinner can be your steak night. Sirloin steak with a chimichurri sauce, grilled broccoli, Braised mushroom variety. You can use your portobello, your creamy, your button mushrooms, whichever mushrooms you like. Banana and iced passion fruit tea, unsweetened, of course. Now, here's a little thing that you want to uh, just keep in mind for better preparation. So think of all the vegetables you have. Sometimes hearty vegetables can be made into big batches and also reheated. Preparation will always be your friend. So remember your key to success is always having an area free of temptation and full of choices you wanna make. If you're able to pick out a dish that you like, make it a huge batch in ahead of time and that way you will be always eating for success for the rest of the week. Continue to check your blood sugar and if needed, just review day one's advice for how to manage low blood sugar if you need it. And as with every single day that we're ending this, I wish you happy eating.